Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. <clears throat> Let me sing. From the fourth least infected city in America, most infected city in America, it's the Ramble with Alex Bennett. We go until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Now there's the face of an old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, What's your name again, guy? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Al, 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 Alvin? Albert. Alvin yeah. Ren, Ren, Renquist? What? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, At that, least it's my real name. I didn't change my name for the radio. That, that's Albert Reynoso. No, you didn't change your name for the radio. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, and, and we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't change one of my names for the radio. Which name? Bennett. Oh, right. Bennett right. is okay. my first name. So, yes, Bennett. You know, and right. Alex was my father's name, so it's a uh -huh. tribute to my father. Yeah. Well, everybody knows your, your, all your names anyway, so. Yeah. And uh, the names most of people call you aren't even the names you go by. Yeah. Now, I noticed that you have a coronavirus haircut. What is that? No haircut? No haircut. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's what I have. Yes. I mean, that's the longest I've ever seen your hair. Yeah, it hasn't been this long in years, but um, but this is definitely not the longest it's ever been. Yeah. But it certainly is. It certainly is longer than than it's been in a while. Yeah, but I mean, it's amazing uh, how you know how uh, long it is, and but, well, that means if you, you don't have... cut it, it gets long. I'm sure your your three hairs will get long too if you don't I, cut it. I imagine. <laughs> I I imagine that you. Uh, uh, you know that you've uh, uh, been uh, indoors a lot. I have been indoors a lot because, um, you know, what we have in my house C beer. Corona <laughs> Premier. <laughs> so you have right. you have Corona in the household. We have Corona in the household. The, yeah. uh, uh, of of the several people that live in the house, one of them has tested positive for Corona. Really? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say who whether so it's So have you quarantined that person in your household? Yes. Oh, okay. We're for the most part we're all quarantined in the household. Okay. But uh, yeah, I fully expected it because uh um my uh wife works in a in a big uh, supermarket store. Yeah. And my son works in a big supermarket store. Yeah. So it's bound to get you, especially yeah. when there's no rules in the place where you live. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's that's uh, sorry to hear that, you know. Well, you know what I I, I, I have people friends of mine who who've who've called me um, tiptoeing around this thing, like we're on death's door, you know. But it's not it's not like that. It's it's very much like getting any other type of illness, not dissimilar from the flu or a bad cold, um, or it could be pneumonia, or it could be something else stronger than that. But nobody tiptoes around when you say, "Oh, he's got terrible pneumonia." Oh, sorry to hear. Well, but for this thing, it's it's a it's tragic and 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 earth shattering. Um, but it's really not like that. I mean, the, the difference is you have to stay home because you're you're uh, essentially forced to stay home by the government, mm -hmm. um, which is not a bad thing. No. I wish they they'd force a little more control in this respect. Um, but um, you know. It, it's different in that respect. People who get the who get the flu, um, they're not really told to stay home or quarantined or self isolating unless it's a swine flu or a you know a dog flu or a horse flu, whatever the big flu is. That's when they tell you to do that. And this is very similar to that, I think. Um, but as far as as far as uh, getting symptoms, it really uh, hasn't been that bad. Um, in in this house, it's been cold. Uh, cold, cold-like symptoms, sneezing, uh, coughing, um, pretty bad headaches, and uh, that's that's really the the most of it. Right, and that only lasted for, for you know for a day or two, um, and then uh, you know every, everybody's been fine, you know for for a number of days. Yeah. Now the the the, the rest of you, the other two people in the household mm -hmm. who didn't have it, did they? Did you get get tested? 
well, we all got tested. Mm -hmm. um, only one was tested positive. Mm -hmm. And um, in fact, we're going back this afternoon, right after I get off this call with you, this Zoom call. But is this Zoom? We're using this Zoom, Zoom, right? We're using is this Zoom. the one where porn comes up occasionally? Well, no, I, I prevent that. I've just, uh, oh, I've, okay. I've just uh, enabled the waiting room. So if somebody tries to come on and Oh, Zoom, I see. I yeah. See. Okay. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. I had that happen the first time I ever used it to do a show. Oh, did you? Oh, and okay. I got zoom bombed with vaginas and penises and yeah, all kinds happens. of things like that. And I learned that you have to enable the waiting room. The waiting room. And then okay. if you don't uh, recognize the person, you don't let them in. Oh, okay. Very in your good. case, I wanted you to come on, and as soon as you came on, I enabled the waiting room, so now nobody else can come on. Just to see my luxurious gray locks. Yeah. So it, it, did, did, when, when, when you got this news, okay, of someone in your household ha testing positive, mm -hmm. did that create any fear in you at all? Not in me. As I said, I've, I've since this started, yeah. I, I was a, a big believer for years, and I've read up years ago. I was not surprised, like the president was, that uh, 35 to 50,000 people a year die in this country from the flu, from the regular average annual strain of the flu. Mm -hmm. I was not surprised by that. And I knew the history of the uh, 1918 flu pandemic, right. which is uh, a, a misnomer to call the Spanish flu. It actually, it actually started in the United States. It may have started in the United uh, States. On an Air Force, you know, on an Army base, rather. Yeah. Um, but... but it, it, Epidemiologists have been saying, and specifically when I took note, was when the Ebola um, virus started acting up the first time a couple mm -hmm. of decades ago. And I took note saying, wow, this could be a crazy thing. And epidemiologists through the years have said, something is going to happen. Something is going to become a pandemic, whether it's a flu, a swine flu, a blah, 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 blah. And in the last few years, uh, scientists have said H1N1. SARS. And H1N1. H1N1, but they said SARS because SARS was growing. And I don't know if most people know this, but this is a SARS virus. Yeah. This, that's what this is. This is another SARS virus. Um, it's the, 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 uh, the virus is called SARS-CoV-2. The disease is COVID-19. Mm -hmm. People don't know. It's a SARS virus. So, so epidemiologists and, and, and scientists have known this is coming for a long time. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't have a problem. I said, I, when, when I heard, eh, you know, it could, it could come out of wherever it's coming from. People get on planes, boom, it's out. And when it started uh, uh, getting popular in New York, popular well <laughs> it started getting popular in new york i said well what it's gonna a bad be, choice of terms there it'll be down it'll be down here soon and we'll be able to latch on to it ourselves and have all the fun as well um and and so we did uh, so no i as 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 far as i know nobody's really freaking out about it the, the, well, you know the, you, the main you, thing is people want to get back to work florida is very lucky number one florida was very foolish oh, okay yeah. very foolish but the thing they benefited from is that they got the whole thing later on after, for instance, we had 23,000 deaths in New York right. State. It was those 23,000 deaths that taught us and the rest of America how you handle this in hospitals. In the beginning, we didn't know what to do. We, in fact, we, we, the only thing we cared about was did we have enough room in the hospitals to handle them. And yeah. respirators, respirators, the respirators. Got to so have on. respirators. Now, now there's a thinking of not trying not to use respirators. You put them on their stomach. Uh -huh. Put people on oh, their okay. stomach. They're, they're, and we've got remdesivir and we've got uh, convalescent plasma, things like that that have have added into saving lives. I have my jug of uh, hydroxychloride or whatever it's called. Oh, hy right hydroxychloroquine. Yeah. Right. I, t I take I take a sip every, uh, every and, hour. And you put so a dash so. of bleach in there, don't you? Uh, uh, no, that's a, that's that's a false fake news. You don't put the bleach in with the hydro. Hy what is it called? Hydro Hy Hy hydroxychloroquine. Yeah. The hydroxychloroquine you drink on its own separately. And then yeah. you have really the best way is the bleach once a night. Oh, I see. Okay. Sleep. All right. You have the bleach. But yeah, otherwise, yeah. you just take yeah. the hydrocloxy. By the way, whatever folks, we're just being funny here. Don't of course, try it. Don't comedy, try of course. it. Okay. This is, I'm not the president. I'm not allowed to give this information. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, our president's really handling this very well, isn't he? Uh, Macron of, of France? <laughs> <laughs> He's handling it well, yeah. That uh, president is handling uh, it well. <laughs> Well, listen. You know, there's, there's. I, I'm. I just finished watching some uh, news clips of uh, the spread. Yesterday was the deadliest day uh, for the disease in Australia, mm -hmm. after uh, a month or so of no uh, new cases in Vietnam. There is a now a new outbreak in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you you can say what you want about his. Um, I'll say laxed attitude about the whole thing, mm -hmm. but whether he does or does not, certainly it would have put a, a damper on this whole thing if he'd have done the right thing by telling people not to go out and telling people social distance earlier and telling people to wear masks and do safe things initially, which he didn't. But I'm, I'm of the mind that it will, it will spring up again, regardless of the second spike, it will spring up again. And it's doing that around the world now. Yeah. So prepare yourselves. Well, I mean, it, 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 here in New York, uh, Andrew Cuomo, after a you know, really horrendous time we had here, and the reason we had the most cases of anywhere in the United States at one point was because while Trump was closing down China because he had a, you know, a, a, a hissy fit about China, mm -hmm. it was coming in through Europe. And it was coming in through our airports. And three million people came into the United States through LaGuardia, through, well, not LaGuardia, but uh, through Kennedy. Uh, because LaGuardia is not a national airport. Is it, is it a, a national no, airport? No, it it's no. It's not, it's not international. It's, it's not national. international. Yeah. Okay. So they were coming in through Kennedy. And uh, guess what? You know, they hit New York City. And New York City has a dense, po the densest population of any mm -hmm. city in the United States. We were just rife for this thing, okay? But we didn't see it coming because the CDC and Trump all said, ah, it's coming from China. Yeah. And, and so we got hit really bad. But we turned the tide. We didn't just plateau. We went up and then we started coming down. And now we brought it down to where, what was it, yes, day, day before yesterday, uh, we had five deaths in the entire state. Didn't I hear there was a day with no deaths? There was one day in which we had two deaths, but no deaths in New York City. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. And, and, you know, so, I mean, we've really turned this thing around here. And, uh, and now our worry is all these people are going to come in from the other states and infect us. And that's a good worry to have because it probably will happen. You know, so I mean, uh, it, it 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 it's it, it's a great turnaround. And what I don't get is why everybody doesn't say, "Hey, look, New York turned it around. Let's use the New York model." Okay, and the New York model was very simple. You follow the science. You look at the statistics. You don't tell us Floridians what to do, man. I know. You don't know. tell us what to do. I know. That's the reason why, Alex. That's the reason why. Yeah. Because people will not be told what to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, they should just say, wait a minute. New York really nipped this thing in the bud. They should how did say they, that. How did they do it? And then you look at the fact that we took, we did a lot of testing. And based on the testing, we decided how fast we would open up in each individual area of the state. And it was a very careful, well-calculated re-entry, okay? Uh, I mean, we're not completely open yet. Uh, Cuomo is not about ready to let the restaurants do indoor service. Well, I don't know yeah. why. Our numbers are climbing, and our restaurants have been open for a month now. Yeah, right. Why? Exactly. I don't understand. They've moved the, rest they've moved the tables this far apart now. They're now three. Being here? Yeah. They're here now. So we're in the clear. We're in the clear. Yeah. Tell that to my household who 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 has uh who has the, the uh positive results. Were you were you sitting there while this was going on in, in Florida saying this is a big mistake? The way they're what? handling it. Not the way closing? Your, the way your governor was handling it, yeah. Oh yeah, I still say it's a big mistake. It's not just the governor, it's it's you know, and as much as they say, well, it's the it's the local jurisdiction to make those decisions. Well, the local, even where I live, all of South Florida, way too late in what they were doing. You know, now, and now you go to Miami-Dade and it's, it's all closed down and 
everybody's got to wear. We have to wear masks. You know, you know when they told us to, that we had to wear masks in my county? When? About a week and a half ago. You really? have to wear masks. Really? And, and by the way, you don't have to wear a mask. You only have to wear a mask if you can't social distance. That's when you have to wear a mask. That's how stupid this is. You should, you should be forced to wear a mask all the time when you're not in your house. Done. Obviously, though, if you're not social, if you're socially distant, yeah. which I've been all my life, right? Uh, you you don't have to wear a mask. But the fact is that somebody may creep up behind you and you won't be socially distant, so you should wear the mask at all times. I know that if but, I'm if it's a really hot day and I got the mask on, and I'm walking down the street and there's nobody for a block, I'll pull it down for a little bit to get a little breath of fresh air. But then I put it back up when I'm getting close to people. We have we have public exercise places where there's pull-ups, chin-ups, you know, bars you can climb on and do mm-hmm. things like that. This for for adults and for children. And the park could be completely empty, and it often is. If I don't go there with a mask thinking I'm socially distanced, which I am, mm-hmm. and I work out on this thing, and I'm huffing and puffing, and my aerosols are getting all over the bars... That's irresponsible, yeah. don't you think? I think it's quite irresponsible. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's that's the reason you tell people to wear a mask all well, the time. Well, the interesting thing about it is, you know, let's face it, uh, Albert, we're a very selfish country. That's that yeah. selfish. We're a selfish species. Not well, just the country. I think not just no, the country. I, I'll disagree with you in that I I find that Europeans are less selfish about each other because they went through a war, and that, I, I'm I'm not buying that. Well, anyway. Uh, we're so selfish that we... How, uh, how selfish are we? Well, we don't understand the concept that when you wear a mask, you're not wearing it for yourself to protect yourself. You're wearing it to protect someone else. And right. he's wearing a mask or she's wearing a mask or they're wearing a mask to protect you. And it's a common courtesy to each other. That's all it is. But they don't even care. All their thing is, don't tell me what to do. Oh, I, we're, I we're heard the people. Land of the free home of the brave. Don't tell me what to do. I heard people say, "Hey, I don't have to wear a mask. It's my constitutional right." What? Well, <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't understand the fact that that's your constitutional right. But if a store has a sign that says "No shirt, no shoes, no service," you won't go in if you don't have shoes or a shirt. Yeah. Because you know they're not going to serve you. Hmm. It's just, it, it's a simple thing. Why don't they put? I mean, those signs are all over the place. A lot of them in the South. Um, but why don't they put a sign? No mask, no service. Done. Yeah. And you, won't even, you, don't, even have to, you don't even have to have people uh, um, acting as security saying, hey, you, you don't have a mask, get out of here. And have people getting crazy about it and screaming it at, at, on videos on YouTube. People will know, if I don't have a mask, I can't buy anything. Why am I in here if I don't have a mask? I can't shop because I can't buy. If I get to the register without a mask, they just will not, will not take right, my money. Right. Done. It's very simple. But you know what? The store owners give up on these people and let them shop anyway because they want the money. Well, there, there, there's, another, there's another problem. Yeah. No, and, and I think that's, in some respects, a bigger problem than the selfishness. Well, it's my contention. Is, give yeah. me the money. My that's why sports it, are starting yeah, up again. Yeah. That's why that's why businesses are starting up again. And who cares if, if the whole population dies? Doesn't matter. As long as businesses are open, for what? I don't know. But Yeah. But, I mean, well, I just feel that the capitalism and pandemics don't mix. Capitalism and a lot of things don't mix. Yeah. Pandemics and a lot of things don't mix. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, it, it, there's a point at which we have to say, look, you know, to hell with the economy, to hell with all of it. Let's save lives. There are 150 dead people, okay? No matter what you say about the normal flu, this is still 100,000 more than you would have lost uh, with a normal flu. Right, okay? right. Maybe more, maybe 110,000. Uh, so the fact of the matter is, try and tell the families, uh, the, the people that died, if they can sure. hear us from somewhere, that, uh, oh, sorry, you know, we, but we had to get on with business. You know, I'm sorry. Are human lives less important than the holy uh, God, holy buck? No, not my. Well, that's, your, that's your opinion. A lot of people don't hold that same opinion. They got to make that buck. 
They well, got to be because then they say, well, we have to be able to well, feed our family. Here's That's part here's, of living. Here's here's what we got. We got we, first we had an idiot by the name of uh, Gomer down in Texas mm-hmm. uh, who uh, just didn't he just get the virus? Yeah, he was refusing to wear a mask. <laughs> right. And he was there with Bill Barr the other day blowing, spitting in his face, and he tested positive twice. Right. Twice. Right. They, he was supposed to get on a plane with the president, so they tested him, and he had it, and then they tested him again, and he had it. So, uh-huh. you know. Uh, but Gomert's saying it's because he wears a mask that he got it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, today we get word that one of the people who went to the Tulsa rally that Trump held has died mm-hmm. of COVID. Herman Cain. Oh, right. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. He was at the Tulsa rally. Okay. He may have been killed by Donald Trump. May have been. Okay. Wait, listen. I think 150,000 people have been killed by Donald Trump because he could have done something about it. You know? I agree with you. I mean, look, I'll give him or anybody the first month or so of this thing as an excuse because we didn't know diddly about right. this disease. We didn't know right. how to treat it. We didn't know what its manifestations were. Any of that. You know? What? No, 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 no. Oh, boy. They, they got you. They got you again. <laughs> you got to get that waiting room a little better than that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't even do that. You know? <laughs> now I'm going to be demonetized by, oh, uh, you're by, not gonna be demonetized. by, by YouTube. You know, uh, but uh, <laughs> oh boy, I don't know. There was no, there was no full frontal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think is going to happen in November if if Trump lets us have an election? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, it, there will be an election. I think I think he's going to lose. I think he's going to lose because. Uh, there were a lot of people who voted for him. Said, "Well, couldn't hurt," and now they found out it does hurt. It could hurt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think you could do this much damage in four years. You know, in the night he was elected, I keep telling the story. Mar- Marjorie said, "Well, who won?" And I said, "Trump." And she said, "Oh my God!" I said, mm-hmm. "Don't worry." I said, "This whole system is tougher than anybody who becomes president, and maybe he'll surprise us." You know, uh, you know that's what I said. That's what I said initially too. Give him a shot. Everybody's got to get a shot. Well, I mean, as long as he's president, you know, mm-hmm. who knows? You know. Yeah. But you, you, nobody can really ruin this that much that fast. Wrong. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. You know. So, what are you gonna do? You know. I mean, it's it's horrible. Wait until November. We send yeah. in our mail-in ballots. Mm-hmm. Because of of course those are all phony. Yeah. Those are all fake. And, and then he, uh, we find out what happens on the 4th. And then he's attacking American cities with troops. You know, I mean, that doesn't play well either. He's trying to go, oh, they're anarchists and so on, trying to scare everybody into voting for him, but it's not working. Yeah, I don't believe anybody anybody buys into that at all. Yeah. He, even, the, even the people that are watching. What uh, they see are pretty, OAN or whatever pretty much peaceful demonstrators being stifled in their demonstration by right. government troops. So, I mean, it's, it's, we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I've said in the past, when it gets bad, people will march. And I'm not just talking about a one block square area in Portland. I'm talking about people will march. People will get in their cars, they'll go up to Washington, and they'll march. It's well, what you almost past, had. And it will happen in the future. What you almost had in, in uh, Portland was an uprising in which they were, they were, confronting the police. I mean, this was uh, getting to be uh, an insurrection against an insurrection, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, yeah. And and uh, Trump, I guess, uh, did what we did in Vietnam, got out and declared victory. Uh, he uh, he said uh, he, he, they, they finally agreed that they were going to leave. You know, so, so the people of Portland actually won that one. Well, you got to win once in a while, you know, and yeah, and, the, and the federal building looks better than it did before because that graffiti is gorgeous. So, you know, what? Happened? Oh, I don't know what the federal building looks like. Uh, just a bunch of graffiti. We got about a minute left here. So you, have I missed anything in the uh, in the in the time I've been staying at home? No, not at oh, all. Okay. Not at all. Because yeah. I'm not really, you know, I, I can't you can only watch so much 
news and 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 uh, video and stuff like that. So I I, I kind of turned myself off for two days. Literally, I slept. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, um, I'm so I'm just tired. I'm tired now. all the time because I've been stuck indoors for five months. Yeah, that's what happens. You get tired and you snack and you you get fat and yeah you know, yeah. We'll get back hey, eventually. Can, can we do this again? This is wonderful. You know. No, I really didn't like it, so this will be the last one. Oh, okay. I, I, well, yeah. all right. Okay. I think, I think I'm we'll now going to go over in the corner and lick my balls. Okay, and uh, I'm going to think about that probably for uh, the next couple of hours and try to get it out. Try to get it out of your mind. Well, Ladies well. and gentlemen, it's Albert Reynoso. Thank you for having me, Alex. I appreciate it. It's good to be here, and I'm going to jump on the... Uh, I'm gonna. What are you using now for the show? Skype, Zoom? Zoom, what? Zoom. So, okay, and how do I get on? Just go on the go on the website gabnet.net. And on down below it says if you want to zoom, click here and it automatically uh, sends you over to the uh, to the, the uh, citizen panel. See, this is what you got to do. You got to promote it. You got to promote it. I'm helping you out here. Yeah, That's yeah, all. yeah. It, it, let's re uh, reset the table every half hour. That's right. <laughs> 15 minutes every quarter hour. It's all about quarter hour maintenance. Stay where you are. I'm you just going to say goodbye to you for everybody else. Albert Reynoso, ladies and gentlemen, in Florida. I love you, Alex. Bye. Love you, too. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah. Albert, huh? Albert is a guest. Albert. Albert. Yeah, our guest. Albert. Anyway. Uh, good, good for him. I hope, uh, I hope that that video he read uh, was a little dicey, but uh, I think we're okay with it because you couldn't see anything. It was the way in which it was angled, um, and uh, you know you can see as much on HBO. All right. So anyway, well, if uh, if YouTube wants to ban me, see you later. Okay. Anyway, it's time for us to uh, to talk to uh, our people here on the uh, uh, on the citizen panel uh, that we're assembling as we uh, as we go uh, here. Um, yeah, get rid of that, Phil, because uh, it doesn't look good. That's my house. It, it doesn't look good, Phil. Yeah. No. Uh, Makes you look bald. Yeah. No. It's just you don't. You, you know. It, it, that it, the thing doesn't work well. Actually, Skype has that same thing, and it works much better. No, let's go to Skype. No, but get rid of that. All right. You know, uh, you know I told you last night not to. Oh, what did I do? I went to the wrong thing here. Hold on a second. There we go. There they are. There's Phil. There's uh, Brian. There's Charlie. And there's Robert. Hello, all of you. Good evening. Yes. Hi. Welcome to our little gathering here. Uh I hope uh, 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 YouTube doesn't uh, ban me because of Albert's little video that he ran there for a moment. Nah, it showed up just fine. Huh? It showed up just fine. It wasn't anything. It wasn't anything explosive. All you saw was her back. Give me yeah. a break. Okay, fine. Yeah. That right. booty. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I don't know with YouTube and with Facebook. You know, there's such Nazis about this shit that you know that you, you go, oh God, you know, they'll ban me because uh, somebody did that. Listen, when I had that uh, Zoom bomb that time, there was far worse. Yeah. And that was a, a joke, supposed to be a, a, a Zoom bomb, bomb Zoom. Nice hearing uh, Albert, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, too bad. His family's got COVID. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not even make you cry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you wrote something, uh, and I corrected you, uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, your state did pass us today. Yeah, your numbers are probably better. Yeah, the uh, the numbers that I... Hey, we're number three! <laughs> we're number four. We're number four. Uh, you know, but that's... Just, I, I'm amazed, because I thought we'd always be number one. You know, uh, and uh, we have a big sense oh, of... Here. It's the kind of thing you want to fail at, okay? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, uh, but... Uh, uh, today uh, we had uh, what 13 deaths. Yesterday we had five. Today we had 13. But we had the lowest amount of hospitalization since this whole thing began, and we had. Oh, your your deaths tripled today. The deaths tripled today. Yes, right. yeah. Um, 
you know, and um, but the amount of people in the hospital are um, the amount of people in the hospital are uh, uh, a kind of a you know what, what am I looking at? Uh, it's a it's a uh, I forgot what I was saying. See, I'm in the middle of something and I forget what I'm saying. That's that's what that's what age does. Okay. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it was it was pretty terrible all the way around uh, what was going on here in the state, and it's it's much better now. And the fact that we have these the least amount of people in the hospital with COVID today since the beginning would mean that later on down the line that translates itself into numbers of deaths being lower. You know, 14 days from now, yeah. so it goes back and forth. But we're within a range, and uh, that range has been uh, pretty good, and we we've held it in spite of the fact that the rest of the country is so damn infected. No, Texas, I looked it up and I went, oh my God, I didn't see this in the news at all. You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, and that that New York, that uh, Texas had surpassed us uh, in, uh, and then I went and told Marjorie and she said, yeah, it was on the news. So that's uh, why I corrected you. I, I didn't want you, I wanted okay. you to feel- I didn't see it on the news. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, in Texas, they don't want you to know. <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's it's just been, it's just, it's a big cluster fuck, okay. And uh, uh, boy, I I want. Did anybody see the president today? I'm sure you did, Robert. Right? His little, yes. His yes. little little press conference. This guy is such a lying sack of shit <laughs> that I can't believe it. Hello. Uh, What's your name tonight, uh, Stanton Mick? Uh, because a couple of months, about a month ago, he's going, uh, you don't have to wear a mask, and, uh, you know, this thing isn't as bad as you think it is. And today he's, like, pretending, like, oh, wear a mask, wash your hands. He's doing the whole thing. And I'm going, like, yeah. why I've didn't you? I've been that all along. <laughs> as I said last night, he's like your super in your apartment who ignores you for the whole year until like October when he yep. knows the Christmas uh, tip is coming and all yep. of a sudden he's fixing the yeah. sink and doing whatever you ask. And that's exactly <laughs> what Trump is doing. He thinks he can do a last minute uh, 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 jump at this thing and suddenly be, oh yeah, you know me, I'm all for uh, washing your hands and wearing a mask. I wish he had told that to uh, Herman Cain. Yeah. When he attended his oh, rally. Because he might have it, saved his friend's life. Yeah, he might have saved his friend's life. It was actually Donald Trump that killed Kane. Herman uh, Cain didn't die of COVID. He died of denial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> denial he, uh, isn't just uh, a river. Another guy died today. Uh, the uh, guy who founded Turning Point USA, a conservative uh, group. His name is Bill Montgomery. If, if you've heard of, uh, never heard of him. His uh, partner Charlie Kirk. Never yeah, heard of him. Yeah. Uh, well, he and Charlie Kirk are the yeah, ones that started Turning Point USA, and so he died today. Uh, are they still, are they still denying it, or are they saying uh, he can't anymore? He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, not. you know, I mean, uh, it, it, it. Um, you know, I mean, I, I feel sorry for Herman Cain, but. Uh, he went to that rally and he didn't wear a mask because he, he wanted to kiss ass with the president. And yeah. uh, the president, nobody else was wearing a mask there. And uh, nine days later, he comes down with COVID. Now, they don't know whether it was because of that rally, but it, all the signs point to yes, you know. If I had the magic eight ball, it would say all signs point to yes. <laughs> uh, uh, it, and, and, and it's kind of sad because it's just that kind of thinking that was was lethal, you know. And um, eh, you know, what the hell? Uh, I give up on it all. I just, you know. But when I watched him today, suddenly saying all the stuff that he should have been saying, you know, three months back in ago, March. Yeah. huh? Should have been saying it back in March. Yeah, March. All of a sudden, he's trying to play catch up. And then, of course, they all—they're uh, also uh, uh, giving up on Portland because that isn't serving him very well in the eyes of the public. 
But he'll say we, we it's going to be like Vietnam where we said, well, we're leaving because we won. Yeah, we won. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But believe me, he didn't win. Uh, and they, 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 they've decided to go because the publicity they were getting was bad. You know, I thought they decided to go because the uh, local police uh, went in and cleared the place out and started to give the protection of the federal They asked, they asked them to leave, and they finally agreed to. Yeah, they agreed to it based on the fact that they agreed to it based on the fact that they weren't able to stop the demonstrations. Uh, have the local police stopped the demonstrations? Uh, they probably will have a better chance of doing it because they they are local people dealing with local people. So the demonstrations were happening for like 30 or 40 days prior to the federal okay. uh, police getting in there. Yeah. And, and uh, then, they, the then they were, police went in, they, they were, now they, that's their problem. They were, they, were, they, Phil, they were down to a trickle. They weren't down to They a were trickle. down to a trickle, Phil. Yeah, that's uh, another, you know, just... Blind. Oh, really? I oh, talked to my ex wife who lives up there. She says it was down to a trickle. Oh, okay. That's what the local papers say, too. Yeah. And, and what happened with the, with, the, with the government going in there, it just made people want to do it, you know? Uh, so, uh, what the hell? You know, so. Um, it's, uh, right it, out all the anarchists. Huh? By the way, it's not illegal to be an anarchist in America. Last no. I looked. I'm an anarchist. Same here. I'm an anarchist. I, I've uh, long believed that anarchy is uh, the highest form of responsibility because no, there are no, you don't listen, there are no laws telling you what to do and what not to do. You have to use your own good sense and caring about your fellow man to decide what's right and what's wrong. Yes, Charlie. Conservatives are anarchists. Grover Norquist always said he wanted to shrink the government so small he could drown it in a bathtub. You can't yep. get more anarchist than that. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, I mean, I, uh, I've i always kind of believed in anarchy. I would love a world in which when you come to a corner, there are no stop signs. Everybody goes, you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, we, we don't go riding through because, oh, I've, I've got the right of way. I have the right of way. Well, you know, you don't have the right of way if there's another car coming and you don't see it, okay? But uh, laws have a tendency to make people say, well, if it isn't against the law, I can do it. Well, that's not necessarily true. Sometimes you can't do it because it's not the right thing to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Back to Herman Cain for a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, if you look at the tweet of him at the rally in Tulsa, mm-hmm. he hashtags um, black voices for Trump. And I thought to myself, gee, I love a good duet. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> How many voices are there in the black community for Trump? I'd love to black In the voice. 2016 election, there was 1.4 million. For Trump, huh? And, and, and how many on the Democratic side, Phil? A lot more than that, but uh, oh, you asked oh, how oh, many yeah. voices for Trump. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. That's no. right. For rallies, we find three black people and we put them right behind Trump with signs that say blacks for Trump at 25 bucks a head. This way it appears. What I does mean, that have to do think with about the answer it. to your question? Stop which and is think about it. Stop and think about it. When they did their little march to hold up the Bible, uh, how many black faces were there in Trump's group? Didn't need black faces. You could Photoshop. I them. beg your pardon, sir. You didn't need black face, faces. You can Photoshop them in later. And and did he do that? Did he even bother to do that? Did he bother I to know. try? What I saw was the picture with the Bible. Oh, I, how convenient things. for you. Well, I'll give you the answer. There were none. All right. Well, uh, you know, uh, there was 1.4 million that voted for him in 2016. That was the answer to your question. The rest of the stuff is all bullshit. I find that very dubious. Yeah, it's so do I. Like I'd love to, I'd love to actually thing. see those numbers. I have a feeling that they're a construct of either uh-huh. Trump or the Republican Party. Well, no. I kind I don't necessarily disagree with the figure for this reason that we could say that people usually don't vote against their own best interests. And yet, we had all these white people in America vote for Trump against their own interest, 
So maybe there are one point, whatever you say, million stupid blacks who voted for Trump as well, because and it wasn't in their best interest. Uh, it turned out that it was. Well, you know why they like him? Because he's such a homeboy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about the tweet yesterday about um, people in the suburbs shouldn't worry yeah. because they won't allow low income housing in the suburbs. Man, <laughs> instead of a dog whistle, that's a fucking tuba. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. You know. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. He He's got he's got the the racist vote. So what? What's he? You yeah, know? why work? Yeah, don't yeah. double down on the racist vote. You got it. Yeah. And, and all you're going to do is you're going to make other people who wouldn't vote for you because you are a racist not vote for you. <laughs> you know, he's uh, he. What what's happening is in a clinch because the polls are just savaging him. I mean, yeah. it's like he may as well not even show up on election day. Uh, uh, he is like getting frustrated and he's playing every card that he possibly can. They've pulled out of Michigan. Who's pulled out of Michigan? The Trump campaign. Oh, really? No more ad Trump. buys. Wow. They gave up on. Yep. Yep. Conceding Michigan. Yep. Did they get Michigan in the last election? Yes. Yes. Uh, wow. Okay. Barely. Well, they won. Yeah. Barely. So like where, where do you think where do you think they're going to concentrate their money? I think one. I think he feels his path to victory includes Texas. I think he thinks his path to victory includes Arizona. Mm -hmm. But if he doesn't get Michigan and at least one of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Florida, he has he has no path. It yeah. looks like he's not getting Ohio now. According no, to polls, uh, Pennsylvania is is in bad shape for him right now as well. And Florida mm -hmm. is supposedly a route at this point, mm -hmm. which it usually isn't. I mean, you know, uh, the two states that well, seem to have given. I the, don't think he's going to win Texas. It's neck and neck, that's for sure. Well, yeah. I think if coronavirus hadn't had its uh, its. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? If coronavirus hadn't... It, resurgence. I'm not looking for the word resurgence. If uh, I threw you a bone. There wasn't, it wasn't a resurgence, Phil, uh, because uh, they didn't really... You didn't have a big problem in Texas, did you, ever, until no, recently? No, not until you opened yeah. up the state in May. Yeah, so it's not really a resurgence. They didn't have a large uh, amount of problem until they, until they went, oh, we can all go and kiss each other in bars, you know, uh, you know, but I, I, uh, just, um, Alex, at what point are, is, uh, New York in, in as far as reopening, have they opened, uh, restaurants, bars, no, we haven't, re uh, we haven't reopened, we haven't reopened for indoor dining, uh, and we haven't opened the theaters. Uh, it doesn't look like Broadway is going to open till probably next year. One, yeah. It looks like the movie theaters aren't going to open up. Uh, salons, uh, my haircuts. Salons. My wife goes and gets a, a manicure. She uh -huh. goes. She got her hair cut the other day. Uh -huh. But you know, it's under very strict circumstances. I mean, you should see a picture of the woman who did her nails. She was like all geared up, like she was at Mount Sinai, ready to operate. <laughs> you know. Um, but they're not doing that yet because they they just see they, they see that as a real danger, Phil. Uh, they don't see a reason to do it yet until they know that uh, we've got it beat for the most part. I, I don't think you're going to see indoor dining until we've got a vaccination. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but but outdoor dining, yeah, yeah, that's allowed. And uh, uh, but they've been pulling licenses from bars like crazy. Well, in in New York, bars are restaurants because you can't have a liquor license and not serve food. And so, therefore, where they go and see a bar with, like, people congregated outside and having drinks outside and, and not socially distancing, 
they hold the bar owner responsible for that, and they are suspending liquor licenses. Yes. Did you uh, hear about that bar in New York? Uh, the guy is serving something he calls Cuomo fries. It comes with every drink. It's a dollar. And uh, that was a lot that allowed him to oh, yeah. Yeah, around well, the that's, uh, that's the way you can do it. If you have little snacks that you yeah. can serve with the food, with the drink, but you can't serve drinks in New York. And it's not Cuomo fries because Cuomo didn't make the rule. The rule's been this a is, law forever. This is what the guy calls it. And if you look at your bill, when, when it comes out, the computer prints out an order of Cuomo well, fries. Well, that's funny, but he didn't invent the law. No, no. Okay, the law's not. been it's, around for the longest time. This guy time. used the fries to get around the, uh, to get around the deal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, uh, the fact is they're pulling their, you know, they're pulling their, their licenses, like, suspending their licenses. Uh, and it, that's, that's good. You know, I'm all for that, aren't you, Robert? How, yes. Yeah. Now, you've yes. had a resurgence in New Jersey, haven't you? Yeah, in one area, which is uh, a good 50 miles from me, fortunately, but I do have relatives in the vicinity, so I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. You uh, know, we're up to two deaths and 33 people who've tested positive that we know. Oh, really? Two deaths and 33 people we can name. Mm -hmm. that are friends or relatives that have tested positive. Oh, in they, fact, they, oh I mean, that you can name personally. That's right. Yeah, yes. okay. But that's, not in, the, that's, not, in, that's not in the state. Um, in most cases, they are a fewer in New York. Fewer in New York. Here, here's the yeah. current, what's happened in New York. The lowest since uh, we had, we have 586 total hospitalizations. That's total hospitalizations. These could be people who have been in there for a month. Oh, that could have been in there for a day, okay? People in the hospitals, only 586. The lowest since March 17th. There were 72 intubations. Uh, the lowest since March 15th. Of the 73,546 tests reported yesterday, 777 or 1.06% were positive. Sadly, we lost 13 New Yorkers to the virus. Not bad. Not not as bad as we were. Right. I mean, you know, this was the this was the most dying city in in the in the world. I mean, I I was I was living in fear. Everybody's been living in fear and I'm suffering physically from the whole thing, from being in for 5 months, 6 almost 6 months. Uh, same here. I'm 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 tired all the time you know i have sinus some sinus headaches i've been getting because um uh uh sinus headaches that i've been getting uh, all of this because you know I, I i don't get out i don't have uh, to do all the things that i should be doing to keep me active and alive and it's it's terrible you know it's taking its toll and i would like to go out and I would take a walk, except it's been 73 degrees out there with yeah. humidity that uh, would choke a horse, you know. Um, do you know what about you, last year? Last year at this time, the summertime, do you usually take a walk? Yeah. yeah, yeah, unless it's terribly humid. You see, I mean, it isn't the heat that bothers you as much as the humidity. humidity and the yeah. humidity today, you could swim through the air out there. Mm. You know, I mean, I can tell what the humidity is because I leave here. We're back here. We have the bedroom air condition. I have the office air condition, and we have all the doors open. So that air conditioning air conditions our hallway and kind of the guest room. All right. I we have a swinging door that we can keep open all the time or close all the time, and we have a swinging door. And I go out that swinging door at the end of the hallway into the dining room and living room area and kitchen and all of a sudden it's like i'm swimming in air i mean it's that humid you know so tomorrow the temperature is supposed to go down to like 79 mercy yeah but and we pay for no humidity in california we pay extra tax for that the extra ah. tax for humidity yeah yeah well, well i always like san francisco san francisco is a city that very seldom got humid yeah you know, cold as hell today. It was really, yeah. 
in the morning, when the sun comes out, it's okay. But in the morning, it's windy and fucking ugly. Yeah. Well, by the way, John. By the way, I just looked at you. You've grown a beard since you started coming on this show. Haven't yeah, I you? know. I grow beards fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like you just. Well, just... I had a beard when I first came on, and then I shaved it. And it's been about a month now. Because it was like I saw, you know, I saw Albert, and I said, boy, you've got COVID hair, you know, yeah. because, because it was just, and the beards, people are growing beards like crazy and never, you know, did it before. We have no reason to look good, you know, it's just, <laughs> right? You're indoors all the time. You give up. Yeah, for what? You know, I mentioned to Marjorie one day over a weekend that we hadn't put pants on in two days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have pants on tonight, by the way. So. Yeah. My <laughs> shoes think I died. Really? Oh, for sure. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, and I've come with a plantar, plantar fasciitis in my heel, okay? So my heel hurts after I sleep for the night because it's, you know. I just, I'm a mess. I'm a real mess, and it's really as a result of COVID, but not directly from COVID, you know. Um, but Phil's lucky, he gets to go out, he goes to work every day, you know? Uh, yeah, you go to work every day, Brian, so you're, you're kind of lucky in that respect. Uh, yeah. t Tony goes to work every day, but he doesn't have to leave the house. That's uh, right. <laughs> he rolls over. Jeff's got a bicycle. He lives in a neighborhood that, you know, he can keep a social distance from everybody. If I had that, I'd be out every day, you know. Tony's on call, on call 24-7. <laughs> yeah. Nice Robert, people. what's your situation? You've been staying I've, in? I've been out of the house, except just in my, around my property, three times since March. Really? And true. two of those were for medical procedures. So are you getting a little fatigue from all of this? I have to confess, I'm very much a homebody. A lot of my interests are cerebral as opposed to physical. Yeah. And so I, I'm okay with it, except to say that there are certain activities I do miss. I love going to libraries. I love going to record shops. I love, you know, that sort of nonsense. So I I think it's more that it's imposed on, on me that bothers me more so than actually getting out. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm feeling uh, just fatigued all the time. Like I'm just tired. I wake up in the morning and I'm tired and I stay tired all day. You know who was weird, Alex? Uh, wait, wait, yeah, hold on a second. Jeff put his hand out there and then we'll go to you, Tony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, open up your mic. Uh, yeah. Donna, don't you uh, miss going to Costco? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. It depends on Marjorie. <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, I, I started hiring this Instacart to go to Costco for me. And outside of the fact that probably I could do a more thorough shopping myself because <clears> they're <throat> limited by what costco says they have um i don't miss it that much you know i'm getting the stuff i always got there you know oh, we got some cherries i'll get some cherries you know and every two weeks i do about a 200 hundred dollar order and it cost me about 40 bucks using instacart between the tip and the and the services and i just paid a hundred dollars to get some of that taken off because uh but what happened is is that uh i you know i just uh, uh, it cost me 40, 20 bucks anyway to get there and back using a car, you know, or a cab. Mm. So it, you know, I'm paying 20 bucks to get somebody to go and pick the stuff up for me, and I don't have to wait in line, and I don't have to do this. I don't no have to risk. do that. Yeah. What? No COVID, no COVID risk. No That's COVID, the biggest thing. No right COVID now. risk. Yeah. And, and That's the biggest well, thing. Well, when we started doing it, it was for that reason. Yeah. And we were missing our stuff from, because I was running out of soda. You know, I was running out of cheese. I like their cheese. You know, I was running out of this or that. And uh, when we finally got our first order, boy, it, Marjorie was so happy. Oh, boy, look, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we got the salmon and uh, mm. things like that. But uh, I guess what I miss about Costco is it kind of you just like walking around in it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, you know and I think there's stuff like... I would like uh, the uh, pistachio nuts with honey on them, and oh, they really? don't have it listed. 
but I'll bet if I were down there, it's there. You know, yeah. yeah. So it, it, things like that, you know. Um, but when you used to talk about the depends, show the video. Yeah. Sometimes I tell Tiffany stuff, and I don't know what goes in and out. Mm -hmm. And then sure enough, after I told her that, like a week later, we went to Costco and we came around the corner and they're up against the wall. And she goes, honey, here are your Depends. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why does she remember that stuff? Oh, no, I just remember that. She didn't say it loud like Marjorie Yeah, does, you're but... stealing our intellectual property. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I miss, yeah, I miss Costco. You know, I do miss it. Um in that respect, I, I enjoy the social nature of going to Costco. But I did it every week. This I only do every two weeks. Um, so I think I'm getting by cheaper, actually. Because it's still on balance, that's a pretty low bar. Yeah. You know, like but you know, like Marjorie said, I need new, more. I need detergent, things like that. You know, our latest problem: we're trying to get our washer and dryer fixed because it's leaking like a sieve, which means probably a pipe somewhere in the washer and hey. uh getting somebody to come over here is just i'm playing help finding somebody yeah. good you hey, got those uh, nice parks around you too oh, the, those listen. videos you took and I, I looked on google maps to see where you live and stuff yeah and then i saw the you're right in between those two beautiful parks so, you know it's sad that you don't get out yeah i know than... i know i either can go up to up to one morningside mm -hmm. or i can go over to central park Right. Uh, but uh, hold on a second, Phil, for one second, because Tony, Tony wanted yeah. to talk before I gave it to Jim. You were saying about like getting out. When I went to Shecky's last week and I had the taxi come, I kind of felt like in the taxi, I even told this to him, I kind of felt like this was the first time I was in, like, not my brother's car. And I kind of felt like, you know, is the guy clean? I kind of felt awkward, like, being out of my element. Like, I was, like, tucked in the back. There was no glass, Alex, in the taxi either. There was no separation? No, no separation. Well, did, you take a, did you take a cab? I took a four ones. I couldn't believe it. I almost passed. I said, oh, what my you God. We took a what? Four ones. And I sat in a car. What do you mean four ones? That's like a taxi service where you set up the night before. They come to your house. To, you know, we're here. You probably would have done better by taking a lift. The reason the reason is that lift, uh, uh, they are they have plastic between you the and plastic. the... No, and I don't have any. Oh my God. Between you and the uh, and the uh, driver, and uh, they they clean it down and everything. They're pretty good. They're pretty. I mean, good. he had the mask on, so it was good. But you know, when I left, I told this to Shecky. He started talking politics. This guy, right? Next thing I know, we're on Long Island Expressway, and you know, how, you know, when the mask is not on because it's not muffled. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the corner in the back, and I hear him like, "Oh fuck!" I said. He doesn't sound like he's muffled. He had the mask down and he's talking. I says, can you please pull the mask up? I said, like, holy shit, this fucking time. And I'm going to be dead. I thought of you and Rob. Remember Rob last week said, I would never throw him in a taxi. Well, you know what they had today? On, on They had the, they had the uh, I don't know if anybody saw it, the, uh, the services for, uh, uh, for what's his name? Uh, John Lewis. John Lewis. I saw. And uh, they uh, were interviewing uh, later on in the night, uh, there was an interview with the woman who introduced John Lewis to his wife. Ooh. And she's there with the mask on, but it's not covering her nose. Mm. And I'm going, that's, you're defeating the purpose of it. I mean, the main thing I would worry about is snot coming out of your nose, you know? Yeah, I, was, I, was, I told four ones about that. I said, you know, he pulled the mask down. I don't want to get the guy fired. Yeah, I said, no. I mean, yeah, you, you do car. not wear a mask down around your chin, it does nothing. You don't wear it this high. You put it up here. They, in fact, uh, you know what Shecky told me when I left? Don't what? talk to him. Because when I was coming out of his house, and I, you know what I got? I got the same guy going home. He was laughing. Really? Yeah. Going home, I said. He couldn't believe it. I said, Shecky, I got the same guy. He had like that big Bob Molly hat on. I was like, I don't fucking believe this. Yeah. So you know what he said? Don't even talk to him. Because he, he was pro-Trump. I can see the way he was talking. He was, a, he, he was a Trump oh. guy, and he was wearing a oh, Bob yeah. Marley hat? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I swear to God. I said, I don't believe it. I got the same fucking guy. I said, I even called four ones. <clears throat> was Robert, he that he four, one point four million and one. Where'd you get that statistic, <laughs> Phil? Um, uh, it wasn't. Uh, it, it was a um, 
black uh, a guy that they were interviewing. I, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember his name, but he wasn't a. He was a. He wasn't. I don't think he was a politician, or maybe he was a politician, but um, I, I just can't remember his name. Uh, two things, Tony. If you want, if you want to ride in the car with a cage, just get arrested. The police will take you wherever you need to go. And and Alex, if you have any, if you need stuff like uh, detergent, why don't you just order from Amazon? Oh well, yeah, you can do that. The detergent, yeah. yeah well, but I I like we like getting stuff from Costco. There's the chicken like and there's yeah. a, a bunch but of Amazon stuff. is free for Prime. Yes, you know? yeah, so. I don't so care. You get those things. You don't have to pay forty bucks. I don't care. I like that. Oh, okay, tough guy. I well, understand. Well, let me see. What, the black <laughs> voters are coming for Trump. Wait a minute. Trump has sight on black voters. I'm, who turned out for Trump in 2016? Let me see here. Come on. Come on. Oh God, I'm having trouble with my. Uh, with my. Uh, uh, my internet service sucks. It's a real problem. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, what it, happened? There's some some kind of problem it has with uh, uh -huh. certain. So it it could be that you know using using Chrome or something like that. Uh -huh. uh, I don't have it. Uh, I I don't know how many what 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 its percentages who voted for Trump, how groups voted in 2016. Uh, how, uh, nah, I don't have it here. I was just trying to see if I could find it. Uh, race you know, I had a Clinton customer in the showroom today she couldn't remember anything I couldn't remember anything it was like the two of us were there it was like Alzheimer's back and forth yeah yeah it was I one of that the, all the time yeah <laughs> but if you have two people with Alzheimer's how would you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's true>. yeah. <laughs> you can't remember yeah right <laughs> you know, with Google, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can just Google everything. <laughs> That's if you remember what you're looking for. That's right. Yeah. Why do they come here? Well, it's gotten easy now. I tell the kids I had to go to the library with the encyclopedia and start copying every word for word. I, uh, eight, well, 8 percent of black. Sometimes I go to Google and I forget what the hell I was going to look up. <laughs> you ever do that? Like, what, the fuck? Oh. what was I even thinking about? <laughs> How about every day? Yeah, it's something like eight percent. Bill, how many people voters? are coming to your show every day? Every day. Well, uh, um, maybe a half a dozen. Uh, you know, I try to space them out. Yeah. Uh, like, I got like, one guy on vacation. I got the other guy uh, uh, says that he's not feeling well. He doesn't have COVID. He was tested, but uh, I think uh, he's milking the unemployment. Oh come on! Because he's getting—is he getting the extra six hundred? Yeah. <laughs> well, he you know he's the low guy on the totem pole when it comes I, to I, I, this whole idea. You know, oh, oh gee, you know, if we give people all this money, they're going to just not want to go back to work. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to want to go back to work because I got six hundred bucks from the government. I well, would you get six yeah. plus the state stuff. You know, that's it's close to four grand a month. Bullshit. No, it's not. You know, let's say you get what four hundred from the uh, state. You want to hear a statistic? You want to hear a statistic that Trump gave yeah. today? What was it? It was that. Uh, oh yeah, that less than one percent of uh, the population uh, got COVID. Oh come on! Wait a minute. Less than one percent. Then I thought about it. How many? Three hundred twenty-five million. Three hundred twenty-five million. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. How many cases of COVID, Phil? Six million? Four, four million. million. About four or four five. million, four hundred thousand, something like that. Yeah. That, that's higher than one percent. Yeah, that's higher than one percent. That's Shoot about, that's, hey. about, that's about ten percent, Phil. And it's growing exponentially, huh? man. It'll be in six months, it's going to be fucking ten million. Until next yeah, month. by the election. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, what's, where do you get this one percent from? No, because three million would be one percent. What oh, three million? He, I think he was talking about the death rate, which is I don't know where he gets that figure from, but it's all fucked up. He's saying, oh, it's only one percent of the people that actually get 
you know, COVID actually die from it. What was that Wall Street group, condemn Wall Street or something that uh, was against the 1%? Occupy. Occupy Wall Street. Okay, that's where you got it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I yeah, that's what the, he was referring to is that the the percentage that die are a minor amount. Well, uh, try and tell that to the people who died. Try to tell yeah, that right. to their relatives. Try to you right. know, it's like I hate it when I hear him say things like, "Well, I talked to a guy in uh, the uh, governor of New Jersey, and he said that only one person under the age of ten died of COVID." All right. Well, young people are less likely to die of it than older people. But you try to tell, let me ask Brian. He's a loving parent, aren't you, Brian? Yeah. Are you willing to take those kind of odds with your kid? Yeah, no, 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 no. You know, if you Not heard there. that only one kid under 10, <laughs> your child's under 10, isn't she? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's Plus, good. I'm old, so I, I don't want them to yeah. get me sick. That only one child in uh, uh, under 10 died in the state of California. Would you send your kid to school? No, you're not going to take that chance. You don't want there to be two. Yeah, yeah. but I, I don't know why they they keep pushing. They go back to school. Ours are and everyone at least that I know in this area, mm -hmm. they're all doing the virtual. They're already doing like six classes on Monday, then Tuesday they do three, mm -hmm. and they have this schedule. So we go next week to pick up their materials from the school, and then they start on the twelfth, and it's all virtual. Okay, we I have yeah. say it's not working. We have, we have one mm -hmm. other elephant in the room tonight that we should talk about. Right. And that is Trump's feeling that we probably should cancel the election. I was just going to bring that up. Yes. I heard he canceled Robert. it. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say last week? Yeah. Robert, what what, what did you say last week? Let's uh, I said he's going to try to cheat and try to he's not going to leave and try to fucking rig the election. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I know? I was an athlete an athlete for the better part of my young life, that's losers talk. It yeah, is. I can hear losers talk a mile away. If you're sure and you're confident, you don't need to make excuses. Well, he's, he's, he's this, this is all over also, the mail in. What, what he's doing, in, well, wait a minute. That's uh, losers uh, also, talk. Also, what he's doing is he's setting up the whole scenario if he loses because he's going to say i lost because of the mail-in vote and i want to recount and blah he's, blah blah he's creating a dialogue about somebody has mail -in stuff. notice somebody has and his mail -in hand. stuff will never notice somebody happen. has his hand up phil i thought i did no all right charlie yeah, then charlie, yeah. and then i'll go to you phil yes charlie uh, i just want to mention that trump doesn't have the power to, to post right. well he the, no he doesn't and the Constitution, it states only Congress can change the date of the uh, election. Only Congress. That is in the Constitution. And by the way, so Trump there's, can't two, do it. there's two things that work against it. One is it's in the Constitution that it needs an act of Congress. But <clears> even <throat> if it gets an act of Congress, they can't change the date of the new inauguration. Right, that is January 20th. Okay, no matter now, what. Phil had his hand up, so let's... Yeah. Uh, I think you're missing uh, what Trump is doing. Oh. Uh, it's, because it's, it's called not, loser's it's breath, Phil. Well, uh, this is what's going on. He's raising the conversation about the mail-in ballots because he feels they're going to be uh, fraud-ridden. Fraud now, the other thing is, even if they try to do the mail-in ballots... Trump will go to court to stop them, and those ballots will not go out until after the election. So, you know, because he'll he'll just challenge it in court, and these Phil, mail-in ballots... he would have to challenge it. He would have to so challenge he, so it. So he's a Wait scumbag, a and you're admitting it. No, Phil... That he, has nothing to do with a scumbag. Phil, I mean, that's he what... Would have uh, to, he would have to challenge it 50 times, because each state makes up their own rules about voting. Yep. Yeah. It's easy for him to challenge it 50 times. The people pay. Yeah. Hey, he, another he, thing. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's not forget. He he pulled the same shit four years ago. He said it was going to be rigged. Acorn. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then oh, wait, wait, hold won. on a second, uh, Charlie. Acorn. Charlie. Yeah. Um, Trump keeps trying to bring a, a, a difference between the 
voting absentee and voting by mail. They are exactly the same exactly. thing. Yes. They are exactly no. the same yes. form. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to request absentee an absentee. Every time. Holly, you have to request an absentee. Uh, if if they just mail them out to everybody, you have to request no, to get a vote they don't by do mail. that. No states do that. No, that's, that's what they're bullshit. talking about. Mailing that's it out bullshit. to everybody. The no states do mail. that. That's all. That's horseshit. Well, that's what Trump doesn't want. Well, it, it, he, he's he's bullshitting because no states do that. No, he doesn't want people to be able to request it. They, he's no, just that, throwing a bunch of said. shit out there to make it illegitimate. <laughs> that's not what he said. He this, said I know heard what he said, Phil. Voters. He, he said, you know what he said answer. was one of the reasons he didn't want to? Because it would take them forever to add up the votes and that he wants he wants that election to be settled that night. Well, I'm that, sorry. Some I, Let's look at the one that happened with Gore and uh, and, and yep. Bush. Uh, well, that, that, was wasn't settled, that wasn't settled mm-hmm. until February. That was hanging Chad. No, no that, that Phil, Phil, Phil. The fact of the matter yeah. is that, number one, where there has been mail-in voting, there has been so little amount of fraud that it's ridiculous. Well, you Secondly, let me finish, mail. Phil. There's been so uh, 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 very little fraud. Secondly, because it's a mail-in ballot, People can mail in their ballot somewhere in some states up to a month or two months before the uh, before the election. Yeah. What Trump's worried about is they're going to mail it before they hear the debates. Mm-hmm. And lucky for him, they might do it before yeah. the debates. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Trump just doesn't want anyone mailing in ba- ballots, period, because he knows that'll you know the more people that vote and you know it's easier to vote, the more chances he's going to lose. Yeah. He's just trying also, to uh, even Barr said that to... there is uh, room for a lot of room for fraud. Well, oh, who cares what uh, Barr said? With the said voting it. machines, is Barr? Yeah. How is Barr an authority on this? Yeah, how is he an authority? Huh? He's the attorney general. He no, he's, uh, he's but that doesn't make him an authority on voting for fifty really. years. No, we're not talking about absentee. We're talking about mass. Uh, ballots being mailed that's, to uh, everyone, and then there'll be ballots out there, and there, uh, and even you, in New Jersey where they did this, have, they had voter fraud. Phil, you have to Phil, be Phil, 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 voter. The, the, Rob, the, you remember that to town in New Jersey? Voter to vote. Yeah, but you get people in in possession of these things that aren't the registered voter. Four years. Everybody. Robert, there was a town in New Jersey that had this uh, mail-in thing. Oh, and a town in New Jersey, and that's going don't to invalidate. Is going to invalidate. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second, Phil. Uh, a town in New Jersey, and that's going to invalidate all votes by mail because you he have loses one New Jersey town in New Jersey anyway. Uh, I'm not talking. Name about another case beside New Jersey. Um, there's not that many uh, mail-in Okay, issues. so the Oregon has voted by mail for 12 years. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking 100%. about... 100%. I'm not talking about... Utah voted by mail for I'm years. I'm talking about these massive amounts of things that are sent out. Okay, the so you want everybody... You want That's everybody... Wait a minute. You want a everybody... Myth. Phil, you want everybody to go into the voting places... And in in this COVID environment, right? Unless they vote by absentee. You want them to die for their right to vote? Yes, I do. I want them to vote absentee if they have uh, uh, comorbidities. And if they can, uh, and and, uh, if they want to vote, the vote thing, let them go. And I like, what was it Trump said today? He doesn't do, he does absentee ballot. He doesn't do mail-in ballot. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't know really what the difference is. There, there is, is no difference. You, because you're mailing the ballot in. And it's by the, the exact way, same form. By the way, in states that have had this for a while, like Oregon, they don't actually mail them in. They actually have boxes on street corners oh, where you yeah. deposit them. I like the mail-in idea, actually. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I think, secondly, I like what uh, what Obama was talking about today during John Lewis's eulogy, that we should have a make a voting day, a uh, a, a holiday, holiday. Oh. so that people can have the day off and be able to go vote and not have to take time off from work 
or maybe give up their salary for the day in order to vote. Yeah, that yeah. was a good idea because I used to leave. I used to go at night all the time and run over there. Yeah, I'd get in before the polls closed. It was a nuisance, really. Yeah. There, there are two things about this that drive me crazy. In the first place, four years ago, all I heard was acorn, acorn, acorn. Mm -hmm. A Republican investigation found four fraudulent votes mm -hmm. nationwide. Yeah. That's part one. Part two, even if you were upset about the possibility of crooked voting by mail, then why is it curious to me that it goes hand in hand with the closure of polling places in colleges, in poor neighborhoods? Yeah. And that's something that can be verified. This yep. is happening all over. It's nothing more than voter suppression. That's yep. all it is. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I mean, I, I just think that uh, um, I think the idea of mail-in voting is a very good idea. I think the poll is a very old idea. And his whole thing about, I want to have the results the night of the election. I'm sorry. Many times we don't have the result the night of the election. You know, and, and in this way, we may actually have the votes counted uh, faster simply because a lot of them were voted earlier. I'm going to do that. Yeah. yeah. Patterson, New Jersey, 19% oh. of the votes were fraudulent. Oh, That's really? Bullshit. Oh, bullshit. I don't believe that. That. Really? Where did you get your information, I, Phil? Qu uh, the Washington Post. 19%. Bullshit. Oh, yeah. Come on. The Washington that is complete Post. bullshit. Bullshit. I'm reading it right here. Yeah. I mean, really? had 19 Somebody putting the votes in Washington history Post all together. Deathbed. Oh, what, what is that? That's not even an item. I That's a, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second, yeah. Phil. What you just held up wasn't in an item. It looked like it was a letter to the editor. Maybe somebody wrote an article. Or two. Is it, Phil? Look at the camera. Hold That's it right. up. Hold it up. What is that? Oh, uh, alleged voter <laughs> fraud. Alleged. Uh, <laughs> who was it alleged by? The alleged. <laughs> the alleged. Uh, exactly, uh, Tony. Very good. Um, he, you know, Tony's up on things. Tony's well, like, getting good. Yeah. I'd have to read the whole. It was the alleger, <laughs> right? Yeah. It was uh, in 2010. The election candidate narrowly won election. He was accused of fraud, although the judge found no evidence that election no fraud. Evidence. <laughs> Uh, so, no uh, and then in 2018, an increase in number of mail-in ballots cast raises concerns again, but they found that 19% of the ballots were fraudulent. Bullshit. Yeah. Uh, Patterson, Bullshit. New Jersey. Go look it up. Bullshit. I, I'll look it up at, in sources, not in somebody that puts the Washington Post masthead on bullshit. It's from WashingtonPost.com. I mean, so you, so you say. Well, that's what I'm looking here's at. What I'll, here's what else I'll tell you. The Republicans don't win New Jersey in presidential elections anyway. Are we going to claim that? I'm not worried about New Jersey. One? It's just that you, your your uh, fraudulent voters happen to be in New Acorn. Jersey. Acorn. Did you Acorn. hear Trump today? Acorn. Trump, Trump was talking about like the, the, the article in the Washington Post or something. He says, Oh, fake news, fake news. You know, I can't believe that they actually published this. But this time they did it real. This yeah. was real. Yeah, this time they got it right. Yeah. Who, who is Philip Bump, a correspondent <laughs> for the Washington Post based in New York? No idea. Uh, well, that's who wrote it. Now suddenly you're a Washington Post fan. That's one. I just Googled the damn thing, and there it was. Well, look, 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 uh, look, uh, Phil. I mean, it. it uh, Trump has always called. The Washington Post, fake news. So if he does, that's fake news. And if that's you get, uh, oh come on! You know. Oh oh wait, but Phil, it's, it's not fake. It's get always, ahead in the it's sewer so, to it's figure always, that one out. It's always. No. I'm giving you your own communist news. Oh. And, uh, and my parents and, read the Washington Post. Are you saying that my parents were communists? <laughs> Most likely, if they raised the sun like you. It, well, they raised a very good son. You know what? That's pretty internet brave. <laughs> it's pretty internet and 3,000 miles away brave. Okay. Yeah, right? I just went to fact, fact check. Deep One top. thing, yeah. it, it, was, it was a special election for some city council members, and there was only like 30,000 total votes, 
and the rumor was that there was like 1900 of them were uh, fraudulent or something like that because there was two scammers trying to pull something but you know it wasn't it had nothing to do with republicans or uh democrats it was, it just was allowed scammer. to happen because of mail in hey, it wasn't what did it have to do with mail in no that's not why it, it was, was a mail in they didn't say it was mail in they just said it was fraudulent did you read it no yeah it does. It he didn't, just read it. Did it say 19 percent of the, the, the mail-in mail votes were mail fraudulent? Because how many mail-in votes were there in a in a in a uh, in an election that only had thirty thousand people voting? Nineteen percent of them were fraudulent. Uh, 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 the uh, Russians uh, uh, don't uh, bother. That's the alleged. Uh, they haven't uh, proved uh, any of that, Phil. Uh, yeah, I think they did. No, it didn't. It said it was oh, alleged. So Wow. You even showed it to us. It said alleged. Yeah, well, you should, uh, why did they cancel that election and, and redo it? Well, uh, yeah, who knows? But it, it was that mail-in votes? Yeah. I, and so I, you I, had 30,000 votes cast, but not all, most of them weren't mail-in. 1,900 of them were fraudulent. No, but it was 19,000 about two minutes ago. No, I no, said it was, it, it was 3,000. It was 19 percent. Uh, you know down. something? It was nineteen percent. This argument was, is giving me. This argument is giving me a headache. But they weren't proven to be fraudulent. They were. Uh, yeah. Some guys were trying to do some kind of a bundling thing, and they were trying to start a business where they would help people take their their ballots. So they collected a bunch of ballots from people and stuffed them into a a box, and then the the post office said, "Hey, these this doesn't seem right. We get three thousand of these things bundled together." But that doesn't mean were, it doesn't mean that these guys actually changed anybody. John, vote. I think you were getting blank ballots, ballots, and filling them in themselves. No, no, Phil, that's not what the article said There's because no John has it in front of him. Other fact fact articles that I heard or read about this, no, 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 Phil, said that. Phil, 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 it just happens to be the, Please, the one that I losers that's talk. Not. That's no yeah. reason to stop breath, loser breath. Yeah, loser that's no talk. reason to guys, stop voting. Vote in mailing across the country because they they could never ever have anything to do with the nationwide election. Well, you, know, you get enough guys that collect up your votes. Hey, I'll give you five bucks for your uh, ballot. Hey, Phil, when it's all when all is said and done, okay, there is really only one. Mark. No, uh, when all is said and done, uh, this is a national election, and you know what went on in Patterson, New Jersey, can't be done on a national. Election. Hey, Trump won with 70,000 votes distributed amongst uh, states that, uh, you know, uh, Phil, that he's very gonna, close. He's gonna, most, he's... Most, of, most of his states that he won that swung the election were won by minimal amount of votes. He's so going to lose. It doesn't take he, much. He, he's he's, he's going to lose, and nobody knows, nobody knows more that he's going to lose than Trump himself. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, I got my 20 bucks on it, and I'll make Robert pay. Well, uh, 20 bucks doesn't show that you're that sure. I thought it was $10. Yeah. No, it was 20 It was 20 well, We were, uh, you know, I think you should put up 1000 Phil, if you're that yeah. sure of it. I, I, if you do, why don't you put up your 1000 and uh, you know, if uh, and just give me odds, twenty, my twenty. No, no, I'm not giving you odds. It is. If you're hey. so sure, it shouldn't matter how much you bet. It doesn't matter. I'm not, lose. You I'm, should, not, I'm not some big hot shot like you. Should you should say, Alex, I'll give you, I'll and, give you, and, I'll give you ten to name? one. That he and, that he's going to win. And, and Alex, who who all his money? life had fu money, you know, uh, he can write the check. I forget. I forget. I shouldn't talk back to Phil. He has guns. <laughs> yeah. By the way, yeah, you I, can, you know, it's I, usually I, what guys I, with small I, I, dicks. I gotta, have. I gotta say that it, doesn't it intrusion. smell to you like Phil thinks he's gonna lose? What's that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you you guys are just a bunch of uh, losers. Talk. Losers, yeah. yeah. Now I see why you got picked it's last like, in Phil. choose up games. Well, I was a lousy athlete. <laughs> and, 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 you know, they would pick Patrick hey, before they shut up. Me. It's, it's little kid time. Okay. It's, hi there. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, this is Adrian. How are you, Adrian? Hi, Adrian. She's so. Oh God. She's our. She's gonna be our poster child for the show. <laughs> That's what we'll make her. Bad girl. Bad girl. 
<laughs> Phil, thank you for oh, calling no. tonight. Uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Robert. I always love having you here. Uh, I love having you here, too, John Larkin. And Jeff, you know, you're my pal. And, of course, Tony. Hey, what, we, what would a show be without Tony? It would be just another show. Ladies and gentlemen, give yourself a, a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye as well, since, uh, you know, I think the world of all of you. Thanks to the Citizen Panel. It's been pretty good having them here. By the way, there's another citizen panel forming right after this one over at the intersection with Jack Bishop. It'll be done on Skype, so he'll give you all the information on that. Uh, we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night for the final edition of the show for this week. Uh, very simple. Uh, you just tune in at 1030, and I will be here. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, if you see her, Tell her I love her, and don't forget to be safe out there and wear a mask. Night, everybody.